Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Pattaya, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information and advice. And I'm delighted, delighted today, this young man, Davin Haller. Hey, how are you, sir? Good, myself. Very good, hey, myself. How, how are you, are you? Man? Yeah, I'm good. He's always, you, you know, you've got your bit pop cat on and all that stuff going on. Um, bit of hip hop. And not, not really hip hop. No, not really hip hop. Well, basically, I haven't got my hair cut yet, so. <laughs> what, yep. Do you want one like mine? No, oh, no, 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 Okay, oh, well, it's worth a try. Now, in case you wonder who Davin is, I've known Davin a long time. He's been here, what, three years now? Almost three years. Three yeah, years now, years. but, but you haven't just been wandering around, just like, you know, <laughs> taking in the day-to-day life. You know a lot about this city. Yep, kind of. Yep. Yeah, so I want to dig in now. He's got an extensive knowledge of Soy 6, and we are here in the Blue Bar in Soy Chaipa. We're gonna, we're here, it's a great bar. If you haven't been to the Blue Bar, come down, it's in Soy Chaipa. Have a look on the map now, I'll show you the location. Come and say hello to the owner, Dave. He's a right miserable git, I tell you, he really is, but he's a great guy on top of it. And I'm only standing because he's sat just over there looking at me again. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that look, true, son. Though, I'll true. give you that look. <laughs> now, before you came to time, where were you? I was in Malaysia before I came here. In Malaysia? Yeah. What, what were you doing? Why me? Basically in Malaysia, I was in the F&B industry, yeah. uh, bar industry, so well, I, like, I came here for a holiday actually. So one of my Malaysian friends were, was a bar manager here before, Yeah. so he was like, David, why not come and give it a try? I'm like, alright, came out here for a three days holiday, got an interview with them, then got a job. Oh, so what, wow. I do, what I did was, bang, went back to Malaysia, packed my bags, after one week, I'm here. Wow, <laughs> so you came out here just to have an exploration, see what's kind going of, on. Yep. And now three years later, Still here? a crowbar to get you back out or are you okay? <laughs> nah, I don't think I'll be going back though. Yeah. Not, not any time soon at least. Well, it's really good to talk to you because one of the things I want to speak to Davin about, which I think is really good, is you literally have been here just before the last two years that we've been in. Correct. So you kind of must have arrived thinking, yes, this is it. Look at this and suddenly it went bang, That's have that. How has that affected you? I mean, you know, what, what was your thought process when you got here thinking this is brilliant suddenly having that just completely wiped out? Well, I came here in what? October, end of October 2019. Yeah. All right. Things were fine, everything was good. Went through high season and all, Christmas, New Year. Yeah. All right. So came 2020, COVID started, and I was like, all right, fine. Maybe it doesn't affect us much. Then came in March 19. Yep. Wesh. Yeah. Everything is shut. I'm that like, Nope, isn't good. Yeah. All right. So eventually, I was like, "All right, stay home for a bit. You know, see how things goes." Then um, when I was working before in Soy Six, we actually did um, food giveaway, food yeah. charity. Yeah. All right. So that went on for at least about two months, I think. Yeah. Around two months. Then after that, stop food charity. I got nothing to do. You see. So somehow I got a job online. Yeah. Uh, for IT in UK. Yeah. So that actually kept me going here. You see. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. So. One of the things that I want to ask you about, because now listen, I speak a reasonably good level of Thai. I'm mm -hmm. fairly good. I read and write Thai. I can speak Thai. But man, you've nailed this. <laughs> you've nailed it, haven't you? I mean, I listen to when you talk. I mean, I've got a, a good level of Thai. You mm -hmm. can drop me anywhere you want in Thai and I'll get by. Mm -hmm. No problem whatsoever. But you've nailed it. Well, don't talk about this though. Hey, come on. I mean, you, all the girls, they must have a heart attack when they're talking really quickly and you're going, yeah, I understand everything you're saying, no problem. Uh, that, that, that's one thing, that's one thing. Yeah. Now, there, there are pros and cons there, you see. Yeah. yeah pros and cons, but how, more towards pros. How did you learn so quickly? Well, basically, 12 years ago, when I was in Malaysia, I was uh, a bar manager for a Thai club in Malaysia. Oh, for a Thai club in Malaysia? Yeah, ah, right. okay. So basically, all my staff, except for management level and bartenders, everyone except that are basically Thais. Right. Okay, my staff, my live band, my waitresses, and all basically Thais. So, when new Thai start coming from Thailand, they can't speak English, they can't speak basically Malay as well. So no choice, I had to pick up Thai just to communicate with them. So that was like what, 12 years ago? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you've done a remarkable job. <laughs> I mean, I, honestly, I, I think I can speak a decent level, but you are leagues above me. No, nah, really, oh, you man. are. I mean, nah. I, I get by, but man, you are good. So you're here now, obviously we're starting to see a turnaround now. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a lot more people coming over. I mean, in your opinion, what's the vibe in the city right now? Because the reason why I ask that question is, I get a lot of people saying, oh no, don't come out here now, mm -hmm. it's done, it's dusted. And I disagree adamantly that mm -hmm. it's not like that whatsoever. That if you come out here, you can have a good time. What's your feeling? Well, when people say that, normally on Facebook, online and all, I disagree with them, obviously. Mm. Because I've been here, for what, three lockdowns right now. Yeah. Since the past three lockdowns, I've been here. Yeah. So I've been seeing, I've been seeing that the city 
ups, downs, I've been seeing all of that. The worst was the past nine months. Yeah. That was very, very, very bad, you see. Yeah. So at yeah. least now, things are picking up. At least, step by step, slowly, you can see more people coming in. Mm. You see more bars are opening up here, mm. you know. And you can see more traffic as well, mm. like Soi Bokao, Soi Chiapun. You can see the big difference there. It's crazy. Very big difference. It's crazy. I mean, we're yeah. looking now. I mean, the place has really got a good vibe to it. Right. It's almost like it was pre what we've been through, right. where you'd sit here, you know, guys can sit, have a beer, look mm -hmm. around and think, do you know what? There's lots going on. There's lots of... Yep. And one thing I've noticed as well now is there seems to be a lot more girls coming back. A lot. Because mostly, okay, when the bars open in January this year, not much girls. Because mm. most of the girls are back in their hometown, you know, they have their own maybe businesses or whatsoever yep. there. So they want to come back. It's just that they are waiting for, oh, I let my friends go first. Let, yeah. them, let them try, you know? Yeah. Worst of mouth. Okay, those girls who are still in Pattaya at that time, they're like, all right, why not let's go back to the bar, you see? Mm. So once they are start, starting to make money, their friends are like, oh, all right, let's go, you know? Mm. So you get more girls coming back now as well. Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's really good to see because that vibe in the city now mm -hmm. really is starting to live. One of the things I want to talk about, because obviously right now we're sat here in Soy Chai Poon, Soy Pothole. Yep. Uh, if you're not sure why we call it Soy Pothole, come down, you'll soon work it out. <laughs> yep. And uh, if it's been raining, be careful when you put your foot in the puddle, because you might find yourself two foot down. Um, you might be actually swimming on the soil as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, this is in, in many, many ways, this is like the talk of the town. And mm -hmm. I say that because, you know, Tree Town's a, a, a buzzing word, excuse yep. the pun buzzing, but it's a buzzing word, Tree Town. Mm -hmm. LK Metro is now coming back in, it's starting to get to itself. But Soy Chai mm -hmm. seems to be the one place that people are saying that's a great place to go yep. to. That's a great place to go it's to. It's so different right now from like what three years yeah. ago. Even three years ago, pre-COVID, it's so different from before. You see, yeah. Because before this, sorry to say, people won't go past half the soy. Exactly. Half, they won't go past exactly. half the soy if yeah. they're coming from Soy Bakau. All right. Because as you guys know, those who guys who have been here before this, the top half of the soy basically are basically lady boys. Yes. All right. So most guys who like. Uh, nah, I'm not going that way. So mm. stop by half the soy, turn back down. But right now it's so different because why new bars are opening up. Mm -hmm. All right, many new bars are opening up this yeah. day. So yeah, make a change though. That, that's the one thing that you said there, which I got to agree with. If you come down here now, the amount of new bars mm -hmm. that have opened, which complement the bars that are already here, and you know, this kind of reminds me in many ways of like a soy six kind of setup in terms mm -hmm. of. You could start one end yep. and work your way bar to bar to bar, and I'll tell you what, you do well to get to the other end. Yep. You By know, the time you get to the end, you'll be like, wash. Oh, yeah. I mean, yep. if, you, if, you get, right. if you get to the far end, you've done better than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you had some time in Soy 6, you're yep. here now. How do you see the two places comparing? Well, I haven't been back to Soy 6 for quite a bit right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been there once or twice. Um, well, Soy 6, you can't really compare to Soy 6, basically. But it's just that Soy 6 now, some of the bars are doing very well there. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, on average, some of them are basically very slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as everyone knows, Soy 6 is basically a tourist place. Yeah. Okay. Like Soy Bakau, LK, you know, um, even Soy Chayapum are well known for expats. Yes. Or those are staying here basically. Yeah. But like Walking Street and Soy 6 are basically more towards tourists. And right now, there are not enough of tourists coming in at the moment. Yeah. Yep. For them yeah. to actually pick up back to how it was before you see yeah. yeah i must admit when we come here i mean obviously we we have a uh, crawls where we bring groups of guys mm -hmm. around we show them around the the amount of positive feedback i get about this particular area about mm -hmm. this soy you know we come here into the blue bar it's a really good vibe we go over to escobar another good mm -hmm. vibe high five you know dive bar high roller there's so many inferno you know annie's there's so many good bars mm -hmm. here and, and i think that's part of the attraction is the fact that there is so much going on yep. that people think, wow, I never realized there was so many different options here. Yes, I, I've been here like almost almost, almost every day basically, having mm. a drink here, you know, mm. talking to my friends, meet some new people as well. Mm. What they say is like, it's my first time on this soy. Yeah. I haven't been here. I'm like, okay, how many times have you came to Pattaya then? 15, 20 times? I know. I'm like, I know. what? <laughs> and you have never heard of this soy? Nah. Yeah. Been here? No. Nope. Yeah. So, yeah, something positive for this soy actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. I mean, one thing I like about this place is there's really interesting bar owners mm. here. And I mean, one guy in particular I want to ask you about, and have you ever seen back in England the film Steptoe and Son? No, not really though. Oh, well, if you look really <laughs> like Steptoe and Son, okay. you'll know where I'm going with, or, mm -hmm. or like, uh, like Victor Meldrew. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yep. now, now, so you spend a bit of time here in Blue Bar. Mm. Well, what's that uh, Dave Geezer like, the one that owns the place here? What's he like? Oh. Basically, you can see him grumpy old man. 
If only he could say what he wants to say right now. <laughs> yep. He sat there, he look at him, he's, he's grinning at us, yep. looking at again, you pair, you bloody <laughs> pair. I mean, but it, all jokes aside, I, I like the blue bar. I think mm -hmm. it's got a lot on offer. There's, you know, great selection of girls yep. here. Beer prices are fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's a good vibe. And I think when you come to this particular part of the area, mm -hmm. you can just like literally bounce from one to the other and you're going to get a great time. Yes, it is. You, you in, will actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in terms of coming away from this soil when you want to relax, how mm -hmm. do you relax away from the hustle and bustle here in, in uh, Chai Boon? In Chai Boon, it depends on which bar you go basically. Okay, if you want more relaxed during the day, okay, early part of the day, you can go like open beer bars, sit yeah. outside, you know, watch the traffic goes by. Later on at night, when the music is up, then you can go to maybe like high rollers, yeah. you know, awesome place there, or like close bars, like large lounge, Escobar, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fun as well. Well, I went into Escobar the other day, mm -hmm. and again, the thing I like about that is it's behind closed doors, mm -hmm. it's a good atmosphere, it's a nice ambience, good yep. music, the girls are good fun. Mm -hmm. And I think, like you say, you know, you can walk up the road to High Rollers, it's a big, bustling place. Yep. You can come in here, it's a great vibe. Next door, Inferno, you know, these mm -hmm. are really good bars. One question I want to ask you then is, I've got to ask you this question, okay. obviously. We're here in Soi Chai Poon. Yep. You mentioned earlier, you touched on the subject that it is quite well known for having a few, let's say, lady boys mm -hmm. here. Yep. What's your radar like? I'm not going <laughs> to that, man. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to that, though. Come on, what's your radar like? Come on. No. Can you spot them a mile off or have you been caught? Cool? Well, right now, not really, though, because they're just like right two doors away from me, so yeah. So have you, have you been caught cool out? No. Sure? Sure. I can read hand signals across there and, and uh, there's, there's nope. hand signals saying different. <laughs> oh, for me it's like, nope, no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll leave that with you as you, you uh, there's, there's a bit of a contentious decision going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> away from the working mm -hmm. environment, away from like coming here and enjoying yourself, where would you go to relax completely away from the bar scene? Where would you go? For me, normally by the beach, at home. Yeah. yeah. Any particular beach? Nah, no, not really. Really? Are you a, a, like a Jom Tien kind of guy or a Patea Beach kind of guy? Oh, if me, I prefer Jom Tien. Jom Tien, yeah. yeah. Because there, I, I, can, I actually can play water sports. I love jet ski, so yeah. Now, I'm glad you said that. So, I always say to people, and, mm -hmm. and I'd like your opinion on this, I always say to people watching the channel, when you come here, if you're going to rent a jet ski, mm -hmm. be very, very careful. Yep. There are so many careful. situations where sadly things go a little bit mm -hmm. wrong and unfortunately the end result is normally these guys have to pay and that's the way it is. You had to pay a lot of money for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for someone like yourself that's, that knows the, the jet ski system, mm -hmm. I mean, are there any sort of words of advice you can give guys? Okay, like for jet skis, right? Go to one place in Jomkian. Okay, there are a few, few jet skis for rental there, you see. Try to get those guys who are basically honest guys, mm -hmm. you know? Try to talk to them first before acquiring the jet ski. Talk to them, ask how much the price is, this and that, before acquiring them. Mm -hmm. So once you say, okay, I'm gonna rent this one, just check the jet ski around, confirm them, confirm with them, oh, there's nothing here, right? Best thing is, if you got a phone with you, just record, yeah, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay, nothing is okay. So what? once they said, okay, no problem, done deal. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come back, return the jet ski, same thing, done. But for what I do is, I always go back to the same person. Right, so they know you. Yeah, yeah. always to the same person, you see. If the person is not there on that day, then I'm not renting. Gotcha. Yeah. There you go, guys. You heard it there from Davin. Right now, we're coming out the back end of what's been an horrific two mm -hmm. years. Where do you see the future in terms of the full recovery? What do you, what's your vision when you look now and think, right, we're nearly at the, uh, the end of what's been, you know, an, a horrific two mm -hmm. years. Where, where do you see the recovery? Where do you think you can sit and go, now we're cooking, now we're smoking? Well, even now you can see the results. Though. Even even right now, once uh, Thailand dropped the Thailand pass, I think yep. on first May, yep. you can actually see an increase of tourists coming in. You know, so it's a slow process, but at least something positive, step by step. Instead of the past two years, nothing is happening. You see, mm -hmm. yeah. so people right now are getting their job back. Um, homeless are getting lesser and lesser. You see, yep. they're, they're still, huh? Yeah. It's just that it's decreasing. You see, mm. so much better than before. So hopefully. By end of this year, things will go back to normal, hopefully. Yeah. I, th I think the end of this year yeah. is a really good date to aim for. I, I mm -hmm. think we're going to see a massive increase this year, particularly in the next three months. I don't mm -hmm. think we're going to have the low season that we had before, yep. because right now, there's people, the guys watching this channel, mm -hmm. that are all saying, I want to get out there, I can't wait to get out uh, there. A lot of people is like, bang, I'm going back, I'm going back. So once they saw Thailand Pass is cancelled, right? I'm booking my flight. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think next year, next year we will go maybe back into the to the high and the lows. Mm -hmm. But I think this year, 
I think personally that once things start to relax a little bit more, mm -hmm. I think we'll see an influx of people. Yep, I like. And it's great because, you know, the bars have had it tough. You know, the girls, mm -hmm. the bar owners, you know, it's been an, a horrific circle. Four years was bad. Oh, Way man. Bad. Yeah. I, I thought when it first happened, I thought three months, mm -hmm. that'd be done and dusted. Never did I dream I'd be no. sitting here two years later saying, well, at least we're coming out the back of it now. You Correct. Know, That's unbelievable. One thing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Got a guy now that's sat at home watching this video. He's mm -hmm. never been out here before. Has no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. What would be your pearls of wisdom? Say, listen, son. I'm going to say, come and sit with Davin. Listen to what this man's going to say. He's been in the. He's been knee deep in soy six. Mm -hmm. He's been knee deep here in soy chayapun and soy pothole, both with the girls and in the potholes here. What's your words of advice? All right, for those guys uh, back home, and you guys haven't been here yet. What I say is, don't believe what you read online, don't believe what you read on Facebook that Pattaya is dead, you know, nothing is happening mm. in Pattaya. Don't believe that, man. Because I've been here for three years, been through the past two, in the, two years of basically nonsense. Yeah. All right. So I've been seeing up and down of the city. So right now, good time to come, though. Good time to come. See for yourself. Don't believe what you read online. Yeah. Just come by, see for yourself, and you will regret it. Solid advice that guys, solid advice. You know, if you look back on all of my videos and when I do all my chats, and I always say to everybody, you come out here now and you come and meet me or come and meet Davin or come into the Blue Bowl, whatever. If you don't have a good time, man, there was something wrong. Because right now, in my opinion, I think this is the best time to come. There's a lot of girls coming mm -hmm. back. There's a lot less tourists here than what we're used to. So therefore it's more, it's more open, it's less crowded. And I think the vibe in the city right now, I think it's, I think it's brilliant. Yep. I you can see everywhere. Right? Even you walk like even right now, it's only what two thirty right now. Mm -hmm. But you can see the traffic. You know, people are walking up and down the soil. If you go to soil Boca right now, you can traffic jam is there as, yeah. al as always. Yeah, you know, yeah. Three town is packed. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite good though. Quite good. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. This is Davin. Come and say hello to him. He's normally here in the blue bar. He might be over in Esco Bar. Or mm -hmm. It'll be somewhere up and down there. Come on, find somewhere him. Somewhere up and down, yep. You can't miss him. I mean, no one else wears a hat like that. I mean, seriously. You know what I mean? Nobody else wears well, a hat special, like that. I'm special, man. Yeah, I'm special. I'm different, though. My friend, it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. Thank yeah, you so too, much, Andy. Cheers, cheers. Guys, all Thank jokes you. aside, come and say hello to Damien. Come here to the Blue Bar. It really is a great vibe. If you come out on some of our bar calls, we come here very often. It's a really good, fun place. There's lots of bars nearby. You've got Annie's next door. You've got Inferno. You've got Escobar, G-Spot, High Rollers. Dive bar, oh man, you've so got many bars right now. I can't Sorry. name them all. And if, and if and if your radar's not too good, we got Delirious and there's a couple of others up there mm -hmm. that might might trip your radar up. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> we'll leave that one there. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching indeed. As always, please remember hit subscribe button. Uh, we've got over 50,000 subscribers now, which is unbelievable. So thank you so much for that. Uh, remember, if you want to be notified when I bring out a new video, check out the bell icon and give that a press. That will ding for you. Nine o'clock every day. I'm there with you, ready to give you another video. Guys, have a look on Discord. I'm gonna get these guys on Discord. Come on there, there's over 15 and a half thousand members in there, and we talk about all these bars, photos, videos, information, you name it, it's there for you, completely free of charge. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below, go check it out. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Right, see you guys.